All right, y'all, how y'all doing out, out there today? Welcome back for another episode of Tasty Twos Reviews. I'm Leroy, and I got a bartender here. Antoine, how's everyone doing? All right, and welcome back. And we're about to do a review today on this uh, McAllen's 12. I tried this one night at the Pella, me and Antoine did. We tried the 10 year, the 12 year. I don't know if we tried another one that night, but I had a shot of this uh, McAllen 12, and I say, man, we got to do a review on that, and we got to get us a bottle. So we're going to try it straight up. And we're going to try it in a martini. And a few facts on the McAllen's 12. I got a little listed here. It's a, it was founded in 1824 by a barley farmer and a school teacher. And then it's matured in sherry wood cast. And it's a single malt whiskey, which means it's only made at one distillery. And then, Tony, you know anything about it offhand? Yeah, this, this one that we have here is the double cast. Uh, it's actually uh, just... Basically, they just brought this to the United States. Uh, it's more American because the sherry cast, it has a, it's not as sweet as the double oak cast. It's, this one is more of American, American scotch, single malt. All right, so we're going to get into it. We're going to open it up. I ain't even popped this bottle yet, so let's get the seal off of it. Mm -hmm. And then the pricing on McAllen's, I got this bottle here, I think, for like $54, but... They got McAllen's go all the way up to 35 grand for the yeah. 50 year. Yeah. I think it came out this year. And I seen one other day. It had one for, um, it's in a diamond shaped bottle. Shape, uh, it's like $75,000. Ah, damn. The, the bottle is made, I think, out of a crystal, if I'm not mistaken. Now, I wouldn't drink that. I'd, it'd be for resale yeah. all day. Yeah. <laughs> Ain't no way. <laughs> Gonna pull it up here. Yeah, if anybody that, that drink, drink scotch, uh, McAllen's is one of the well-known scotches. It's, you know, like I said, the uh, sherry cast. It's good, but once you uh, try this one, this is, like I said, it's a little more sweeter, sweeter note, and I like it. I like it. I like this one a lot better mm -hmm. than, the, than the sherry cast. Yeah, I might have a little pulled a little bit too much. So it, right now, give me a hint of a strong, that sherry wood. If you ever mm -hmm. did mm -hmm. something on a smoker, like some applewood flavor, mesquite, it, it gave a hint of that strong something that had been soaked in the cherry wood or some water. That's my uh, that's my aromas on it. I love it. Got that sweet taste as soon as it hits your palate. Burn a little bit. That's what you want. You want that nice burn when it goes down. It tastes of smoking. It's just back there on top of your jaw. <coughs> I love it. Oh, yeah. And like you say, they give you that, that strong finish. I ain't losing nothing on it. Like, you know, I always say that on the show. I like to take a shot, and you don't lose nothing on the finish. Mm -hmm. I like mm -hmm. it there. Also, now that I'm drunk a good bit of it, I'm getting a little pepper taste. It's really good. It still gives the same finish, though. Yeah. Like, you don't lose no yeah. strength on nah, it. Nah. That's the best thing I like about a whiskey. If I can drink that whiskey at first and I don't leave, lose nothing on the end, I'm sold. <laughs> right yeah, off I'll tell, top. You, tell you another thing. A lot of people, McAllen's is a, uh, well, any scotch. You know, scotch is a retri required taste. A lot of people don't understand scotch. I right? Like, you know, people drink bourbon and whiskey. You drink it all day long. But when you, some people just drink scotch, like, ah, I can't, I just, you know, I can't do it, but. Scotch is, a, is a, a very good drink to have at the end of the night to kind of calm you down and mellow you out. It's very good. And, it's, you know, it's a distinct taste. And it, then a lot of people get confused with, like, the, the uh, distinctive characteristics on it from, like, the a whiskey mm -hmm. and, a, a, and a malt whiskey. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So it's a few things in there. I don't know exactly what the difference is on it, but I know it's a few in there. Yeah, which is, like... Uh, one of the brands uh, that also uh, McAllen's made, a lot of people don't know, is uh, Famous Grouse. Famous Grouse is uh, Cutty Short and McAllen's, and they and that's when they make they blend the scotch. Um, it's a good one. It's got a little more 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 uh, smokiness on on it than than the McAllen's, but that is you know anybody that's starting out to drinking scotch, I say start with a blended scotch. And then move your way up to McAllen's because if you turn around and just start drinking McAllen's first and then trying to go to a blended scotch or, or a peaty scotch and peaty is basically it's a it's, it's it has a dirty taste to it um 
So I, I would say go to the to the blended scotches first before you actually go to uh, single malt single because malt. single malts you 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 appreciate it better if you turn around and drink a blended scotch than just jump into a uh, single malt scotch, which is going to be a uh, whole lot better. A whole lot better, mm -hmm. yeah. Nice, rich taste on it. And I never forget, when I tried that 10 year, I wasn't sold at all. And then <laughs> Tom was like, man, let's, you know, try this one, Leroy. That's a whole lot better. Mm -hmm. And I was like, man, I couldn't know. I couldn't get with a 10 year. But they say, you know, a lot of introductory uh, single malt whiskeys, it start with the 10 year McAllen's and then go to the 12 year. But me here, I don't recommend a ten year at all. What about you, Torn? <laughs> yeah, ten year, it's okay. If you, if you, if you, like I said, if you just not starting, yeah, yeah, it it it'll be it'll be good. But you know, especially when you're drinking a a peaty scotch, you know, uh, I mean, when I say a peaty scotch, when I say it tastes dirty, it tastes it's like nice. you just went outside and got a whole bunch of dirt yeah. and put and it in your mouth, yeah, yeah. put some alcohol behind think, it, yeah, you know. Yeah. But it's real dirty, man. Right. I tell you, but it's it's good, and they got some. They got some peaty scotches that, that, you know, you can drink that's really good. But like I said, once you turn around and you had those and then you come and you start drinking McAllen's or, or another single malt, I prefer McAllen's, you'll, you'll understand what we're saying. You it's, ever had the 15-year? Really, yeah, I had the 15-year. 15-year is, 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 is a whole lot smooth, but I, I rather had a 12. I rather, if I had that. If I'm gonna spend my money, I already had a 12 year. Now, dang, the price I seen on the the 15 year was like maybe four dollars more than just the 12 year. Mm -hmm. But you know, so that ain't a big price range. Yeah. But right here, there's a lot of people recommend to drink that, and I yeah, recommend it yeah. too. Yeah, I, I recommend do the 12 unless you just had the money to spend and go up to maybe 18 or uh, 20, 23 years, something like that, which is gonna be a lot more. And then you know, I haven't had a lot of Scotch whiskey, so we usually do the scale one to ten. I give it an eight. Yeah, you know that's a pretty high number. It's pretty good for yeah. me. What yeah. would you I, give it one I, to ten, Antoine? This one right here, I I, I got to give it a nine. Compared, uh -huh. to, you know, uh, uh, between that sherry cast and a double oak cast, I would get that a nine. I'll get that a nine. That's and that's then another good. interesting fact. I seen the cast are made with oak trees actually shipped from the U.S. Mm -hmm. to Scotland. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that's another interesting mm -hmm. fact on the uh, McAllen's. And I tell you another thing too. A lot of a lot of the uh, barrels, like I said, come from the United States, but they actually been used in like bourbon. In bourbon, wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I mean, you know, so they so they they turn around and, and and use the barrels here, and then send them over to Scotland, and then let them there use it there. Yeah. So yeah, because they already basically did all the burning and everything. I'm gonna have to do. We're gonna have to do an episode on the uh, sherry old cast and. And then a regular barrel cast with whiskey made in, mm -hmm. see how they leak and kind of like wire how that fermentation come in there too. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. Oh, yeah. it, it's it's pretty awesome how they turn around and burn the whole thing, put it together. When and I did that wine tour, they showed me all that stuff and how you know the longer they leave it in the in the cast thing, mm -hmm. you know, aging, mm -hmm. how it leak and stuff. So yeah. it's leaving, it's losing a lot of oh yeah, uh, alcohol on it. So so for instance, uh, on another type of whiskey. Uh, Jack Daniels uh, single barrel. Single barrel. Right. So what they do, they sit at the top of the level of where they ages all they all they whiskeys, and um, they call it the devil's cut sometimes. But that's why. So it sit up there, I think maybe ten or fifteen years, and and they might be about a full barrel. But by the time they get through with it, it's probably about a quarter full barrel because. Yeah. They lose so much because they age it and the wood is actually soaking it up. Soaking and so it up. Right. It's, 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 it's pretty cool to actually see that. I got to look that up and see some information on mm -hmm, that. Mm -hmm. All right, so now we're going to try it in a martini and see how that go. We so so uh, that. what I'm doing here, I'm going to make a Rob Roy. Uh, classic classic co cocktail. It's a uh, version of uh, me and Leroy, our favorite drink of a Manhattan, but this oh, is yeah. done with scotch. So uh, three ingredients, very simple. Um... And it's uh, three quarters of a uh, sweet remove. Uh, that it gives it, it's basically a sweetness. Uh, and then we're gonna do uh, two ounces of the uh, McAllen 12 year. Then if I had my buddy on okay, Steven on him. We're going to do two of these because I got to make one for you too. He would have said, Leroy, this nasty off top. Yeah, yeah you but know Steve-O. Yeah, I don't, <laughs> I don't know though. He, he might like this one, so yeah. I'm going to get him to try it pretty well the next couple of days because he'll be off. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it worked right now, so I get him to try this. 
You might like it. And normally you only do about uh, two to three dashes of bitters. But since I'm making a double, I'm going to use about six dashes of bitters. I like I like the bitters. The bitters is actually it's, uh, pretty good, and then it's more alcohol. And then what I usually do my Manhattan, I like to go with the one with the orange bitters. Oh, yeah. And that can, one right there pretty can, rough. You can <laughs> actually use yeah. the orange bitters. Uh, oh, the, the original recipe for the Rob Roy is made with orange bitters. All right. So and uh, you got to see already. I got that here on deck if I need it. <laughs> so we're gonna turn around and stir this uh, about thirty seconds, and let you see uh, it's diluted the way you want to have it diluted. And it's just putting a little bit of water in there. You don't want to shake this cocktail uh, just because it actually foams it up a little bit. And, it, and it, you actually with this right here, I'm just putting a little bit of water in there. If you shake it, you're actually gonna put a lot more water in there, and it's, it's not gonna taste right. Another thing that remind me when I see him make them Negroni drinks. Oh, we got yeah. this one lady come in at the pillar. Yeah, her favorite drink is that Negroni. Yeah, I, I never tried it though. I'm gonna have to I, I, try I, it one day. I, I love I love Negroni. I tell you, that, uh, it's it's a uh, very distinct taste. Uh, Negroni is basically uh, Campari, which is a uh, bitters from um, from Italy, and um, uh, you do the uh, gin. And it's uh, one more ingredients, but I tell you, it's 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 a drink that you got to get used to drinking. I oh, mean, yeah. so it's it's really good. I think I tried it at one time. I was like, ah, I ain't sold on this, but I'm gonna yeah. have to do one for myself. Yeah, once, once you once you drunk it two or three times, and then you know the crazy thing is, Negroni is is one of something like old fashioned or Manhattan, uh, old old time drink. Old time um, drink, yeah. They actually have Negroni week. Uh, once a year because that's that's how popular that that cocktail is. Right. So and you don't want to leave the ice in there right. Take this one. Try this uh, and drop one cherry in there right. uh, It's also good if you if you have bada bean let's start let's start on cherries uh, the, the um, Bada bean cherries actually uh, bourbon bourbon cherries that it tastes tastes a whole lot better. It actually soak up alcohol pretty good too. But uh cheers. There's a lot of room on that with the uh with the ice hitting. Mm -hmm. That's pretty awesome. Oh yeah, it tastes just like the Manhattan. I'm mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. now if y'all ever want a strong drink, y'all get look up a recipe, Manhattan, you'll love it. Do it with the McAllen twelve. I usually do mine with the regular Maker Mark, but I got That's that Maker Mark 46, and I know Torrance said he got the private select, yeah. so we're going to have to yeah. try that. Yeah, the private select of the Maker's and, and the uh, Maker's Cast. Maker's Cast, with the, that, that's that's going to be, uh, it's, it's about 115 proof. That's really good. Yeah, lay, that's strong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, yes, that's gasoline. You might well be drinking bootleg. But, you know, I, after I done had a long day, sometimes I come up here, I tell her, I got to get me a Manhattan. She won't never drink it with me. But she might like this one ain't too strong though. Yeah, I like this one actually. You know, uh, a Manhattan is a lot stronger than this. But oh, yeah. with, I guess with the fruit remove and the bitters on this one, it kind of adds the, um, the alcohol on that. So I mean, and then you gotta realize too, this is a lot sweeter than the yeah, sherry cash. Yeah. So the sweetness. I mean, a lot of people probably like this because it's a lot sweeter. The only thing I say, I only recommend about two to three of these because you actually, oh, yeah. it's, it's nothing from alcohol. Yeah. And all, all three ingredients is nothing from alcohol. Uh, in Italy, uh, Italy, they actually drink that on the rocks so or straight up, the the, um, the, the sweet remove. Sweet and then the bitters, uh, only, you only put in a couple of dash of bitters in there, but it's 44% alcohol. And then you also got the Macallan. So, I mean, you think about it, it's, it's not alcohol. Nothing but it's, alcohol, yeah. That's what, that's what I love about it. Now, I'll never forget Star. Now, I used to tell Tony, I was like, man, this, you know, you can pour whatever you want with this. Oh, it ain't yeah. no alcohol. Oh, yeah. It's I didn't know at the time. It's yeah. something now. Yeah. It's it had to, had to school me on that. Yeah, it's got, it's got plenty of alcohol in there. All right. And for the people that have been uh, following us out there, we got some T-shirts. I'll put some pictures up of them in a little link below. Y'all want to purchase a T-shirt? We can ship it to you. We can meet you if you're in the Greenville or South Carolina area. Just let us know. We I made Antoine this shirt here. Yeah. It's one of them. And then the one I got on, I made it. And we got a few colors on that. And also, if y'all want to do some custom t-shirts, we can help you with that too. Just uh, send us the label, PNG file, email or whatever. I'll put a link up too for you. Send it to our email. 
Just let us know. We can get it done for you. And uh, this has been our review on McAllen 12. Thank Antoine for helping us out. Thanks for having me. And we got a few more episodes coming up. We'll have some, uh, I'm thinking about doing a Dover versus Patron. Mm, that'd that, be that, that right there, because a lot of people think Patron is oh, top shelf. Man. Oh, man. man, that's what I say. Patron is water. Right, Patron is <laughs> not top shelf. <laughs> not anymore. Not anymore. It used to be. <laughs> yeah, that's just yeah. how it got popular. Yeah, so yeah. We do, and then we might have to have a couple people on there with us. Yeah. Dog. Everybody need to see the difference between that Dover and that Patron. I wish Dover would get some more marketing out there so they can take that Patron down but, and decrease but the price. You gotta realize, <laughs> yeah. you gotta, you gotta realize something that good that how Dover is the the product Dover is is so so much better. And I mean, yeah. like I said, and no nothing bad against Patron, but you know, you you taste the quality. You know, oh, I yeah. mean, that's 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 just like if you if you know if you. If you got a Pinto at home and then you go get a Lexus, you're you yeah, going to put that different. Pinto up, you know? Because <laughs> <Right. laughs> that Pinto, you yeah, know, it's small, yeah. it's burning gas. That's it, that's <laughs> it. So you're going to drive the Lexus more, oh, yeah. you know? So and I, that's the way I compare those two, you know? Like I said, nothing against it, but, you know, it's just the quality of what Dover put in there and they bring and Actually, right now, we don't have a Dover in the pillar, but I know they got it downtown at Ray's. Mm -hmm. If you have a downtown mm -hmm. Greenville, check mm -hmm. it out at Ray's. Especially mm -hmm. on the Monday night, to do like half off. Oh yeah, industry night. So That's, I'm gonna yeah. I'm gonna try to talk to the I don't know the pill to see if he'll get the Dover in there. So we'll see what he say about that. So thank y'all for tuning in.